Welcome back to another Traffic Filled 52 Frames Challenge where I learn a live lesson from my photo. So this video is a little bit different. I'm starting at the end result since you need that to understand what I'm talking about. My photo this week was an absolute, I wouldn't say disaster, but a challenge to say the least. I wanted to create a photo of a storefront, and there's quite a few of them, if you know where they are, that's got fairy lights. So I wanted a backlit photo, and then just get a bicycle of one, or one of those scooters to pass by. That was the image in my head. The reality was, because I didn't know exactly where the stores were, that we would get stuck in traffic two consecutive nights. Almost in an accident, both of the nights. The second night, a lot closer than the first night. Needless to say, my husband, which is really a super calm and loving person, becomes a demon in traffic for some reason. So, after these two nights, needless to say, no footage taken, no behind the scene footage taken, he did drop me the second night somewhere on the street corner and I said just drop me here and I'll try to take a few photos and that's where I did capture my photo. But the bottom line is after those two nights I got back home with my flourish and a lot of apologies to try and soothe the soul. I got home and I saw the pictures and I got something worth submitting although not the one I had in mind. Now I was a bit hesitant with it. I went and I watched something with my husband and the next day, because I still had a little bit of time, I scrolled on um, Facebook or something and something popped up which said something in the lines of your reality is someone else's dreams. And with my photo fairly fresh in my mind, this light bulb just went off. And basically it boils down to here yeah, we were complaining about the traffic and don't get me wrong it's something we all complain about but we were complaining about the traffic while sitting in a nice comfy air-conditioned cover listening to some music i had great company when he wasn't yelling at somebody driving like an idiot but i had great company and we were actually fairly comfortable despite for sitting there and despite that small incident where we could have been in an accident, but that can happen at any time. My point I'm trying to make with my rambling is that so many other people doesn't have cars who would love to sit in traffic. And especially in Dubai, I would say that during the summer months, that is such a luxury to have. And that this guy on the bicycle seemed very happy just to ride his bicycle not in traffic, granted, but he was happy. And most of, I would say, four to five months of the year, that has to be excruciating due to the heat. And he seemed happy. So my point I'm trying to make is, we were complaining so much about the traffic, and that's a first world problem in all reality, where this guy would probably have loved to own a car, sit in it with his air conditioning, listening to some music. So I actually don't hate this photo at all. I think it tells an interesting story. I spent quite a bit of time with the color profile since I wanted to create a very cinematic look since it's a storytell kind of photo. I especially love the juxtaposition between the shiny car behind him and his rusty old bicycle. I would have loved that the car had been a supercar but hey, maybe in another photo. Now it's just for final touches to emphasize uh, the photo and make him pop even more. So, the 
this is still a photography channel, so I wanted to give one photography tip, and that is scout beforehand. I know it's an old tip and an old trick, and so many people have told you that before, but in this instance, if we had have gone in off peak seasons to scout for the spot, we probably would have gotten there a lot easier, which by means making the process easier. The problem is in Dubai, the only time there's not traffic is on a Sunday morning and it's difficult to locate these shops which I had in mind during daytime since obviously the lights wouldn't be on. So after submitting the photo, I did consider going out for a photo walk and recreating the whole scene of me taking the photo and shooting some behind the scene footage but ended up deciding to rather keep it real since I want to keep this channel as real as possible and just tell the story behind it without the visuals, of course. I know this wasn't my typical type of video where I shoot behind the scenes and the process and so on. It was literally grab my camera, got dropped on the street corner while he was driving around the block once or twice. I snapped a few photos and hoped for the best. But who knew a photo could make me a philosopher? Ironically, next week's challenge is a quiet moment. Thank you for watching as always and see you then.